Hello YouTube, it's Tony. So today, I will be showing you the fastest smithing XP per hour in the game for 2019. Yeah, the mining and smithing rework really did make smithing a lot faster. The requirements for this are, well first of all, you have to have 99 smithing. I know a lot of you are going to be like, Tony, not everyone has 99 smithing. I get it, but I'm just trying to show you the best method in the game. The second requirement is that you cannot be a skiller. The reason being is because, yeah, Super Eat item gives you magic XP. I also recommend Solemn Smith, which is a reward purchase from Artisan's Workshop. Here is my equipment setup. First, I have the blacksmith outfit. Now, you also want to bring the smithing cape as well because the perk is really, really amazing. As for the perks on the crystal hammer, I would bring Rapid 3 and Tinker 3. For my inventory setup, this is pretty obvious, but that's for super heat item. The Ancient Elven Shard will then increase the prayer over time. It's kind of like Excalibur. For the rest of your inventory, you have to have 5 of each of the Elder Room Plus 5 equipment. Nothing else works, and they have to come in the following pieces. First, the plate body, then the plate legs, the helmet, the gloves, and finally the boots. The location is at Artisan's Workshop. I strongly suggest World 70 because the Luminite injectors are constantly active. For those who don't know already, these are the replacements of the portable forges. While smithing XP per hour is much higher than before, but nowadays, the amount of items you smith per hour is significantly less. When you start smithing, you'll see an in-progress smithing object. There are two bars on the top of your head. First is the progress bar. Yeah, it's like an HP bar essentially. Every hit will do damage towards the progress bar. The more damage you do, the more XP you get per hit. The other bar is the heat meter. From 66% to 100%, it will do you the maximum damage per hit. Every single time you hit the object, the heat will cool down by a slight bit. If there's less heat, you'll be doing less damage per hit. Now if you're using super heat form however, you only need to keep it at 33% in order to do maximum damage. Every forge has a heater nearby. Just click the heater, and then it'll take you a couple hits to reheat the object. I've talked about the basics, so let's talk about the strategy. You can only smith at any burial forge. On the interface, you'll be selecting the Elder Rune Burial Set, and then you'll begin the project. Yeah, the interface is a little bit confusing for new players, but over time, if you read carefully, you'll be able to understand what it really means. In this case, you will consume all 5 pieces of the Elder Rune Armor plus 5. Yeah, that is a huge item sink here. Now the next part is the key to getting very fast smithing XP per hour. You want to cast Superheat item on the object as often as possible. Preferably, either you want to keybind that and then press the key, or place it underneath the Superheat item and then click from the magic tab. Every time you keep applying heat, it will give you 5 more damage progress. See, this is really amazing, eh? Now on top of that, the superheat item doesn't interrupt the action when you're casting it. It is a very very click intensive method. Now as for superheat form, I'm pretty sure it's optional because you're pretty much just gonna keep it at full heat. Like, I use superheat form anyways just to see if it worked. But it turns out, it probably doesn't. Unfortunately, when you're finished smithing, you will get no items in return. Yeah, this is why it's meant to be a high XP but very huge loss. So in 56 minutes, I was able to smith 10 Elder Rune Burial Sets. The XP I got for this is 2.3 million smithing XP. I got these Elder Rune Plus 5 sets for 6.4 mil each. Now the prices are very unstable right now, and I'm pretty sure it might drop or it might not. I don't know, it really depends. In the form of Superheat Runes, you will consume around 1.2 mil GP per hour. I mean, you do get 100k magic XP per hour from doing this. Every burial set will give you 192k XP, and that is the base amount. It will cost you almost 40 GP per XP base. It is incredibly expensive standalone, which obviously is why I suggest you do it on Double XP Weekend. The base XP per hour you can get for this is 2 million. You will be burning around 67 mil GP per hour. My calculations assuming that you're going to smith 10.5 burial sets per hour. The amount of respect you can get for this per hour is 
This will make this the fastest respect per hour in the game. Without using 2 tick superheat item, I'm not really sure how fast it is, but I believe it's around 7 burial sets per hour or something like that. There is kind of a little bit of a bug here and superheat item casts every 4 ticks instead of 2 ticks. Like I'm not sure whether it's being fixed anytime soon or not, but we'll see what happens. I'm Sudi actually made a calculator on this, and I will definitely leave the link in the description. Now I'm not sure about the XP and cost of other pieces of rune equipment, so by all means, go ahead and share your XP rates and the cost or if you even got profit from doing this. To wrap things up, I do have a full raw footage of this, and I will definitely leave the link in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already because I will definitely be doing more mining and smithing rework content.